Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna teach you how to make this DIY Dollar Tree photo frame for a photo booth party. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna use a piece of foam board from the Dollar Tree. We're also gonna need a pack of poster board or you could just buy one piece of poster board. We're also gonna use this metallic poster board. Uh, it comes in silver and gold or if you can't find that, there are always a variety of metallic um, gift bags which would be so cute. Um, you're going to need a ruler and then something to cut with. Um, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to measure out the frame. That's all we're going to do is we're going to measure that we want about four or five inches at the top where we're going to attach the ears and the horns and the flowers. Um, then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the piece of poster board and I've cut the piece of poster board in half because this piece of poster board is pretty big and then from each half I'm going to cut one ear. So I've just taken a piece of scrap paper to make a template, fold it in half and then cut what I think is a ear shape. <laughs> And then I've traced it onto the piece of poster board and cut it out. I repeated this twice. Um, I'm sure you can find a ear shape on Google Images for sure. Um, horse ear or unicorn ear. And then what I've done is I've taken the same template and I've cut it down a little bit to cut the glitter paper. Now this glitter paper was from the Dollar Tree. Uh, we got it back for the wedding shower. Uh, it wasn't one we can always find, but like I said, you can also use uh, metallic gift bags, anything. They also have a metallic type wrapping paper sometimes you could find. This is just to make a sparkly inner ear. And this one happens to be a sticker, but you always, you know, if it's not a sticker, you go ahead and hot glue it. And then we're going to do the same type of trick we did with the um, the petals, we're going to cut a slit up the middle and we're going to glue, overlap the two ends and uh, glue it so that we can make like a three-dimensional type ear. Okay, and we're going to repeat that to both. And then this way they'll both tuck behind the corners and it's going to just make it look oh so real. Okay. The other thing I'm not showing you in this video is the paper flowers. Um, I'll link the videos for those paper flower tutorials in the description box down below. All right. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to, um, I'm using a piece of scrap uh, foam board that I had laying around for the horn. And the reason I'm doing this instead of using the piece from the middle is because I am transporting this to Texas. Um, but what you're going to do is you're going to cut the middle out of the frame and use that to make the horn. Um, and I also am just freehanding this. Um, again, you can, I, I did Google image, um, unicorn horns. Uh, you could want to trace it. Um, I just, you know, I just know that it's a swirl pattern. I don't know how to say it. It's almost like S's. If you just do S's on top of S's on top of S's, you could also fold it in half and, um, you know, create, um, like a straight line template. And that's one of the things I did as I ran the pen down the middle and realized that was way off. So I adjusted it accordingly. And I cut this out with my X-Acto knife. Um, I did my very best to keep within the lines. Now for this, um, I don't know that you're going to um, see, we, I did two options for Eden. I have some rainbow colored metallic, not metallic, well I do have metallic, but glitter paper that I had gotten from my friend Bobby. They're actually stickers, um, probably vinyl, like you would probably use in the Cricut or whatever, but um, I've had them for years, <laughs> so I don't exactly know um, where he got them from or I know from one of his jobs, but I don't know exactly what it was used for at one of his jobs. But I wanted to give Eden the option of um, a gold horn or a rainbow horn. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you both. Um, what I did was, you could just cover this entire thing in the gold um, contact, not contact paper, the gold uh, poster board, and then just cut it out and shape the swirls. But I'm going to show you... Um, how I did it uh, with this gold sticker that I have. This roll of stickers that I had, this roll of sticker my father bought, brought home from a job in 19, I think it's 83. <laughs> so that may be older than some of you watching this, but younger than some of you watching this, okay? Um, he had found it at a job as well, and I just have hung on to it forever. I've used it many times. It's a lot of 
gold um, sticker paper. But um, I just wanted to show you that there is that gold poster board that I got at the Dollar Tree as well. And then I'm just cutting out um, a template. I traced the uh, foam board onto a piece of paper. And the reason I did that is because I wanted to create the individual horn shapes, the individual twist parts. Um, and I'll show you here, this is the glitter paper that I ended up using and I was trying to arrange it in a rainbow order that I was that was pleasing to me. Um, she was doing pastel rainbows, but uh, got as close to a pastel rainbow as I could with the pieces of paper that I had. Um, and then I show you here. So I made the two, yeah, the two sections. I traced onto a piece of paper and I cut each section out individually. Um, and I did this because the sticker paper is, um, you know, all these different colors. There's seven different sections, there's seven different colors. Um, so I've done that for the rainbow section. And then I also did that for the gold section. The reason I did it for the gold section is because you still want to see like there's two separate pieces of paper, um, when there's like the horn separation, basically where the twist would be. Is any of that, what I'm saying, making sense? I think it makes sense. If it doesn't make sense, just watch it. It'll make sense when I, when it comes together. <laughs> But just make sure you keep your um, paper straight. Um, you know, don't get, don't flip one of your things over on accident. And you'll, you know, accidentally, you know, cut out the wrong shape for your horn. Um, and then for this, for the rainbow one, I cut, you know, I put, line them up in rainbow water and then I cut each one out individually. And like I said, this is sticker paper, this, uh, this colored vinyl that I'm using. Um, I also would like to um, let you know that after the shower, um, Eden took the frame apart. Well, actually, I took the frame apart for Eden. And she hung the horn and the ears and the flowers um, in her room, in the baby's room with um, the really cute sign that Lisa gave her that said sleep. It was a really cute sign she got off of Etsy. It says sleep and the two E's are actually like sleeping eyelashes. So she made the unicorn over the sleeping eyelashes. It just looked so precious. Um, if you don't have sticker paper, obviously, you're going to want to glue this down. Hot glue works fine. Just be mindful of hot glue and paper. Sometimes it can be bumpy, especially with metallic paper. Um, if you have double sticky tape or if it will hold with glue sticks, then um, think about doing that as well. Um, and if it doesn't, if you don't cut it exactly right, as long as it lines up um, the best you can on the paper. You see, I'm trying to reposition it um, just to get it straight. And then I ended up cutting, um, trimming down the horn that stuck out white. You know, basically I didn't put it on there right. And I ended up trimming the horn to accommodate, which was fine. <laughs> yeah, even I mess up too, guys. <laughs> More than I care to admit. Um... But the sticker paper does cut with scissor. You can just use that. All right. And I'm just going to continue up the rest of the way. Um, it, for those of you who are new to rainbows, <laughs> that's not a silly. Um, purple, blue, green, yellow, orange, red. In this case, we added pink because it was trying to be a pastel rainbow. <laughs> I was checking there to see, did I actually just put that piece on upside down? And no, I didn't. I just was double checking. So uh, we'll go to the next one. And um, the other thing is the glitter sticky paper for the inside of the ears. We're also going to use the trimmings for the eyelashes. It's just an option. Um, I'm going to talk about the eyelashes now because it's a very short piece of looking at the eyelashes. But I was... There you go. There's the there's the rainbow horn with the ears. Um, and now I'm just going to repeat that process with the gold um, roll of sticky paper from 1983. Um, <laughs> when I researched um, the different unicorn eyes, um, I basically created a shape that when it was on the unicorn 
one way it was a wistful unicorn or sleepy unicorn. And if we flipped them over, it would have been the smiling, cheesy unicorn. So I actually brought them to Texas and I pulled, you know, do we want a wistful unicorn or do we want a sleepy unicorn? So now I'm doing the same thing with the gold paper. I'm just cutting this out, um, the different shapes. And this way again, so that it has that seam between them. Um, that we're between each piece that's going to make it look like the seam of the unicorn horn. We're also going to accentuate that a little bit with a, um, a pencil. But, And if you're using just the metallic um, poster board from the Dollar Tree, you could still do this. You just have, Again, you just have to glue yourself. These are what I'm using here is sticky paper. Um, but I showed you in the beginning what the glitter paper looks like and what the metallic paper looks like, both from the Dollar Tree, if you can find them. Um, okay. So we're just going to repeat the same thing. We're going to go from the biggest to the littlest. Okay. And as I am placing, um, a second piece to match up to the first piece, I'm taking the edge of my pencil or the, actually it's a popsicle stick and I am running it, um, to indent the foam board between the seam to add sort of dimension to it. Um, I actually think I'm using the back of a pen, but you could see here every time I put on the second piece where the seam is joined, I just indent it and you can kind of get a better look up close here. Um, again, that's just to create that three dimensional horn type of a feel. Okay. So now I'm just trimming them up. I have the gold stuck to one side and the rainbow stuck to the other side and I'm just seeing making sure that they're trimmed up nice and even okay and we didn't want too much of either sticker to be hung over which is fine you can always trim it up in the end that's what I'm trying to show you here and if you can't do it with the scissors then you go ahead and get your exacto knife out or your box cutter or whatever you have um, just make sure you protect your surface which like I am I can't really tell too well. I've got one of those Dollar Tree cutting mats under there. Okay. And then this horn gets glued to the back of the poster board when you decide which side you want it to be on. Um, I did all of the parts gluing in Texas. Actually, that's not true. Yes, it is. I did all of the parts gluing in Texas at Emmy's house. Um... I had Emmy and Lisa there deciding how exactly they wanted everything placed and which horn they wanted to use. So that is the big pink flower that I made in the previous tutorial. Um, actually, that's not. That's the purple one. It's like the big, <laughs> the big pink one I made in a previous tutorial, which I'll link the description box down below. What I did was I just did the exact same petals, just smaller. I made everything just a little smaller. So these are the eyelashes. I've cut this wistful shape out of the eyelash and I'm using the actual scissors to cut actual eyelashes. I wanted to make them sort of like fuzzy, like furry, like fringy. That's it, fringy. <laughs> and um, now I'm going to cut out um, the poster board. Now I'm using your, you use your box cutter, you exacto knife, make sure it's sharp, cut from the, um, the back side of the poster just tr don't try to cut all the way through because you might rip the paper. Um, just try to do it if you have a really sharp um, X-Acto knife. But the best way to do it is to actually cut from the right side. But if you make all those markings like I did, you can't do that. <laughs> but what I did was I wanted to show you guys it's two inch border around three sides and about a four or five inch border at the top. Just enough room to keep to put your flowers. If you have bigger flowers, you want a bigger border at the top. Um, but this is what worked for me. And now I'm just trying to practice the placements of the flowers. And here it is all done with the rainbow horn. And here it is. Oh, look at the cute little eyelashes. And then here it is with the gold horn. Don't mind the fact that the ear's crooked. It's not glued on. And here it is at the shower. So I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. Don't forget to share this video with friends and family. Anybody who may be interested in making one of these for a party. And if you haven't yet, click subscribe. When you do, a little bell will pop up. When you ring that bell, YouTube will let you know whenever I upload a new video. As always, you take care. God bless. See you next time. Bye.